Hi everyone, I'm Associate Professor Sarah Bice and welcome back to Online Teaching Basics. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through seven simple tips that can help you to pre-record your lectures in PowerPoint successfully and without a lot of glitches. So let's get started. Number one, put your mobile phone on silent. You will be so annoyed if you're recording and then the phone goes off. Also remember if you have any desktop software like your Microsoft Outlook calendar that might send you a ding to remind you of something, everything goes off. The other thing you may wish to do if you're using Bluetooth headphones and microphone as I am here is turn off the Bluetooth on your mobile phone. Sometimes it will interfere with the Bluetooth on your computer. Get your mic and camera ready. Uh, I wish I had a golden microphone, but I've got this one and it does the job. It's also really helpful to turn on your camera app on your phone before going in to record in PowerPoint and just checking your setup. If you do that to make sure that all of your lighting and the picture is okay, make sure that you then close down that camera app before you start recording in PowerPoint. Otherwise, you will get a message saying that PowerPoint can't find your camera. So if you do get a message from PowerPoint saying they cannot find your camera, it's probably because there is another software open on your computer that's currently accessing that camera. So get your mic and camera ready. To check your microphone, simply on a Windows computer, press your Windows button, type sound, go into sound settings and make sure that your input, which is your microphone, is the mic you intend to use. Find a quiet spot. Now today for me that has admittedly been a real challenge because the local public works are putting in new water mains just outside my home. So I wish I had somewhere as idyllic as this, particularly in these stressful times, but just do the best that you can. Find a quiet spot and go for what you need to do. Great if you have good lighting. Now, we probably don't have access to this type of spotlight stage lighting at home. Here's what I'm using right now. So it doesn't need to be magnificent or expensive, just good direct lighting in a clear space. I looked around my house and I found a quiet room with a blank white wall, which was actually a little bit harder than you might think. Also, let your family, housemate, pets, and whoever else you might be living with at the moment know that you're recording. In my family, we have created this very sophisticated sign that my husband and I put outside the door of the room when we're recording or when we are in our online classrooms. Use a slide clicker. So I'm able to stand here now and I can go through my slides and I'm not having to deal with the laptop. Also, it feels a lot more like what I do when I'm in the lecture theater. And that leads me to my seventh and final tip for successful pre-record. My seventh and final tip for successful pre-records is simply stand up. It's really weird to deliver a lecture sitting down. You wouldn't do it at the university. If possible, don't do it at home. When you're standing, you feel different, you present differently, and it really does make a difference to your voice and your delivery. So stand up. Also, if you're spending a lot of time inside, it's a bit more exercise. So the simple stuff to remember, and I'll provide a copy of the slides on their own on the Online Teaching Basics website, these seven things are really great little tips to get you started towards successful pre-recorded lectures. Good luck, and remember, we're all in this together.